Hi, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I have a question for Sir Red. Uh, first, congratulations po on a successful FPW Aztec show. Thank you. Uh, so, my question for you is, as, Trevor, as Filipino pro wrestling fans, we want a defending champion. And there's no doubt that Jeff Cobb is going to be that. But, of course, we also want the title to be defended here locally in the Philippines. So, how often can we expect Jeff to defend the belt here? Every day. Uh, <laughs> no, um, uh, this guy is an NGPW wrestler on loan here, so he has tours, he has a schedule, but uh, we're already talking on where it's coming back here and defending that title. So, this is a long term relationship, guys. So, uh, as you know, we don't put out a lot of shows. We do probably five to six shows a year. I'm pretty sure Jeff can come in like two of those shows three, <laughs> four, nine, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, again, it depends, man. We need your money. That's it, man. And so, yeah. Um, we don't want to spoil anything. It's, it's one of the things that I want to do. So, but he is gonna definitely gonna defend the title. Okay, thank you. And my next question is for Jeff. Jeff, congratulations on being the new FPW champion. Uh, so my question for you is, uh, it's been a while, it's been a couple of years since your last match here in the Philippines, so what would you say are some of the changes that you've observed or witnessed from, you know, comparing your experience wrestling here a couple years ago versus today in FBW? Uh, well, first and foremost, I think the, uh, the skill level has definitely gone up since the last time I was here. Uh, And, and like I said, you know, like the pandemic definitely derailed a lot of things, but, you know, I, I give props to the guys that are still here that have grinded throughout the pandemic to keep training, to, you know, hopefully eventually come back with live shows with, in front of fans. So I, I definitely uh, give props to all you guys uh, here at uh, FBW. And um, I guess it's like, just the, the level has gone up since the last time I was here, and it's definitely made me very happy because you know, like a lot of times, if we were off for a while, then we come back and we get lazy or complacent. But I didn't see that watching the show today. Like I saw people, like you know, I saw people, you know, like maybe we. Like obviously, we're always gonna, we can always get better. So. Hello. <laughs> but I definitely saw a lot of hungry people, a lot of very like talented, hungry wrestlers that want to learn and want to get better and want to bring the best action to the Philippines as possible. And that's one of the re like, you know, I'm very fortunate to where I don't have to wrestle outside of Japan, but I want to. And I, I'm very selective on where I go. And when Red asked me if I wanted to come tonight for a title shot, uh, I remember the drive and the fire that these guys had in 2019. So. When he said, do you want to come? He didn't finish the sentence, and I was like, okay. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, like, like I, going off of what you asked Red, I don't want to just be a champion just to be a champion. I want to elevate FPW, and I want to elevate Filipino pro wrestling. Uh, just a quick follow-up question. Uh, you're holding one of the most prestigious championship belts, not just in the Philippines, but in all of Southeast Asia, or Asia for that matter. So I want to ask, are there any names here locally at FPW, or maybe even internationally, that you'd love to see challenge for your belt? Honestly, like I said, I want to be an FPW defending champion. So if Red says, hey, defend we have this date available, go defend this belt against a uh, guy from Singapore, a guy from Vietnam, a guy from China. You know, I'm a Japan, I'm pretty close. So I'm more than happy to go to defend this anywhere and every, against anyone and everyone, anywhere, except Antarctica, it's too cold. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm here to defend this and try to bring more eyes to this company. I think the last question for Mike Madrigal, our former champion. Uh, the question for you is, you've had this dominant 500-day reign with the FPW champion, the first ever, right? Uh, so, what you say is, what's next for you? What do you want to achieve ngayon after your championship reign? Um, I'm very thankful for the tiwala of Red that I've given the opportunity to get 500 plus days. But right now, talagang, like I said earlier, I'm looking forward to improve the roster. Yung mga trainees namin, I'm very, I'm really looking forward for off-season. Talagang, I have big plans for them.
Thank you very much. That'll be awesome. Thank you, Troy, and Bressel Zone.